lithium ion polymer batteries by JW Solar USA. In today's video, I'm just doing a continuation where we've stopped or how the progress we've been doing towards this um, entire project to, to happen, the portable generator made by JW Solar USA. These are the cells I already have in two boxes right there. So I have few more, two more boxes of these, uh, these uh, PVC uh, portable IP67 or 65 box. So it has closure, you can lock it up right here. And um, we have a few of these, so I, I already told you what I'm gonna do with this building portable generators or charging stations for certain people or certain occasions or for a shift. Just at any time, uh, something bad's gonna happen, like what is happening right now with the uh, global warming. With I know a lot of people don't believe on that, but that's okay. You know, everybody learn when something happened. It's too late that time. So preparation is good. So I already got these batteries all stripped. You see all the wires, copper wires. These are negatives and all the negatives here. And the positives here, see there's negatives here. And you see the positives already done on this side. Um, left with the, all the negatives from this side. This is the only pack that is left to be done and a partial of this. So it's gonna be the series configuration the way you see right now here. And if I connect this one, it's a positive. I put them in five, one side is five, the other side is six. You can see that, okay? They're all positives. So tied into the negatives into five on this side. Now it's gonna be six on this side. Five on this side is going to be six and five on this side to balance them and crimp them. Put them right there, like this way. We crimp them together. Get this thing and crimp them together. Okay. So that gives us this pack. It's already because it's a 3.7, 3 something like that. There you go. 3.7 volt which is uh, 5,000 milliamp, which is uh, five amps. Right there. So 18 point something uh, watt hours. See that? 18.76. So they're gonna be tied in series so this pack is gonna be stacked together it's gonna be bulky stacked together and that's how we're gonna end up doing our 12 volt configuration and we're gonna stick it in one of these boxes I have two more of these so 12 volt configuration so if you said 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, because it's 11 batteries in parallel. Okay? 11 batteries in parallel and series to the next one, which is a 55 amp hours. 55 amp hours. So since we're series in, this battery is going to be staying at um, 55 amp hours at 12 volt okay so that's how it's going to be at 12 volt 55 amp hours at 12 volt so i just want to show you how i'm going to configure these i know i got these batteries from battery hookup and like i said their customer service is just outstanding and um they are good people so if you don't have any company you trusted for buying batteries or you trust to buy batteries from, I'll encourage you to buy batteries from Battery Hookup. And don't forget to use my affiliate code, which you can help you. Um, you get a 5% uh, 
and you can end up having another um, a total of more 10% when you buy the batteries now. I suppose that's how it works. So 5% for just using, 5% you buy batteries from them and 10% I think for the referral if you use my affiliate code. So that's going to be a good substantial amount for you breakdown for your batteries you're going to be buying. So if I don't explain it right, well, you see, just follow the affiliate code and just click on that link and browse and buy the batteries that you want. That's going to help out with this other channel and this project I'm doing so you can able to see more to come. It doesn't mean um, by uh, directing you guys to the right place to get the batteries and this will help you see and we are on the same page. So when you buy the batteries I'm talking about through my link. I posted there and you try you can just have a reference video towards my videos here you know exactly what I'm doing and you just probably replicate or learn from that and build your own park pack yourself so let's do this and let us get this business running and I'm gonna continue with this I'll get back to you soon and I will connect these batteries now in series configuration and we're ready to do the soldering. And um, I think I have to use a boss bar. What I'm doing here is going to put the terminal rings on these things. And uh, probably do um, the negatives, positive negatives. So the series configuration. I don't know. I think about doing that. And we have a boss bar that you're going to tie it into. That will help. But it's going to be a lot of boss bars. Which I already have. I can able to use these clips as well because it's good for 10 gauge. So 12 to 10 gauge of power transfer. I'm not going to use any inverter on those. So 10 gauge, that's a 10 gauge can give you up to about 30 amps. So I can use this while and crimp them and use these guys here, the male and female, just clipping them, keep on doing the series configuration. See how it's going to work? If I don't want to use the boss bars. But I got a lot of stuff here. Which. I can able to show you. And I got a lot of these other ones. That's kind of speed. Like. You see them. To go on the boss bars if I want to. Where are my boss bars? Stay tuned. I got some sh heat shrink. Here. Okay. Here they are. I have a lot of them. So I can able to use this speed once here to go about the operation. See, kind of like a speed. So they can just connect into this to make the series configuration. So I can able to put positive. The positive comes here to the negative here. Just clip, 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 clip. So I can able to detach them if I want to. If I want to keep them that way, detach, detach by using these guys. I can able to detach them. I use them as a single pack. I have a bunch of these uh, boss bar stuff. And um, there you go. These are different bosses I can use. Uh, quite a few of them. So I can able to use on. I can just have to use the speed connectors right here. See. See speed terminals right here to do about the connection into this with all the peril so one comes here which is the positive comes here positive positive because it's in i tie them here. remember i just explained that i tie them in twos uh in five and, and six so i can put one here one here one there two like two positives two negatives here they already give the series connection so they have a boss and they have a cover they can pop open see you can open this one and it is more secure for touching anything that's not going to cause any fire or arcing and from there i can just go about the last one going to go to the so i have to use central i gotta use um one of these like one of these for these packs right here. I can able to sacrifice and do that. And one is going to be on the other side of there. I can able to continue, continue, continue. And um, 
doing so, I got all these, the positives here, going to tie it into this. And this other positive here is going to tie it into other one. If I want to, I can space them this way. And I can use this other terminal here like this. Let me set it up this way. There you go. Maybe makes sense now. So they tied into this. So here's the positive, see them? And here's the negatives. So I just tied into the bosses, the boss bars, something like that. You see? So I can have these connected. I can do this one again to this other side and continue. Or it loops to this and come to the other one which gives the uh, complete um, configuration. I don't know what you guys think, but let me know. Like and subscribe, JW Solo USA.